good setup of showers and thunderstorms that we saw here in West Michigan. And that was mainly along and east of US 131, but it was all instability in pop up. So not a lot of cloud cover lingering behind it. Grand Rapids, even down to South Haven and Kalamazoo, already getting back into some sunshine. Some showers over Lake Michigan are actually continuing to fizzle out. We'll still track a chance of them, but it doesn't look like much more on the back side of it until we get to tomorrow morning. So let's get right to future track here on the hour by hour. Those showers and storms continue to sweep to the east uh, by 11 p.m. We're trending to mostly clear skies with just an isolated shower. I think most of us will stay dry overnight until about 7 or 8 a.m. Then more pop ups will come around as the secondary front sweeps through. That's just going to reinforce some cooler air with it. The northwest breeze comes in and then showers will remain until about noon or one o'clock. We'll trend back to mostly sunny skies Saturday afternoon. Going to be a very nice evening here into the first half of the weekend. Sunday looking like it's going to start with some sunshine. We'll see some late afternoon clouds and with it potentially some rain after sunset. But for now, we're going 82 degrees with the mostly sunny skies. Again, Saturday, a touch cooler, just 76 degrees due to that northwest wind. Cold water is going to be in line to see the last of the thunderstorms. You can see the shower activity there falling out of those clouds. Looking off to the west or to the east, rather, Moncombe County already had the showers roll through and there's a lot more sunshine there to be soaked up here before sunset at 924 80 in Grand Rapids and Battle Creek. Notice 72 in Kalamazoo 71 in Three Rivers. That cool air will hit Kalamazoo and cold water already starting to cool down as those sweep off to the east 74 in Hart 79 in Holland. Dew points are back to the 50s in an isolated spot, especially north of Grand Rapids. Notice upper 60s, Hastings down towards Battle Creek and Coldwater. Our temperatures tonight going to be quite seasonable. Once again, low to mid 60s here. We'll go partly clear skies in an isolated shower as possible, uh, but most of the rain in the morning hours will be focused along the lakeshore and then move inland. So lakeshore communities see the sunshine dominate through the afternoon and evening. Just one to three foot waves. You could even argue one to two foot waves as the northwest wind has trended a little bit lighter here as the system is exiting to our east just a little bit quicker. But water temps have rebounded significantly since the start of the work week. We're back to the mid to upper 60s for those water temperatures. So a nice weekend ahead overall, a little cooler than our seasonable average of 83, but we're back above average Monday and Monday night and Tuesday morning is our focus for more widespread showers and thunderstorms. Similar to Wednesday, just a slow moving cold front coming in. Second half of the week, much more pleasant weather, low 80s, consistent sunshine, and we're really looking to warm things back up here. We are in a well above average stretch, 80 to 90 percent into next weekend and beyond. I think we might make a run at our first 90. We haven't seen one of those since the middle of June.